Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today we'll try to create this nice looking Google Chrome logo inside Microsoft Word. And this what you see is the actual Google Chrome logo. If I jump to my other document, this is what I created in Microsoft Word. So you can see it's a little bit different, but it's uh, pretty damn close. So before we actually start doing anything, let's start with this image and let's try to examine the or take a closer look at the actual logo and uh, all the stuff. So we can say that, for example, here would be like a zero degrees and that this line seems to me like a right, right, right angle line so we can say uh, you know that this is the right angle now we know that this is the full circle divided into three pieces so each part should have a span of 120 degrees which means that this on the left is minus 60 degrees and this here this point on the right is plus 60 degrees which of course adds together to 120 degrees now since this is the right angle line and this is the zero degrees the inner part also goes to minus 120 degrees which is in here so 120 degrees is here and 120 degrees in here it's just that it starts from a different angle and it creates this nice looking um, effect so what we have to do is we have to draw an arc going from minus with some radius going from minus 60 degrees to plus 60 degrees which will create this part and then we have to create another arc which goes from minus 120 degrees going to zero degrees so we have two different arcs all we need to do is just to connect them somehow together to form one shape which will be this red shape we don't have to care about the other shapes because those are the very same looking shapes except they are of course rotated by 120 degrees for the red uh, for the yellow one and 240 degrees for the green one of course, this in the middle is just a circle that will be the easiest part. So with knowing that, let's jump into creating something. Actually, before actually creating something, we will start with our previous tutorial, for example, this one, which is used for drawing blobs and badges. And that's because we have a base code for drawing something in polar coordinates. So again, let's talk about polar coordinates before actually drawing or doing anything. Usually when we think about drawing something in Microsoft Word, we talk about Cartesian coordinate system, which has the zero point or origin in the top left corner in here. And then we have the X axis and Y axis like this. So if you want to talk or set any point or any shape in Microsoft Word, we just say that this point in here should have, should have some uh, X value and Y value and Microsoft Word will draw, us, draw it for us. The other way how to think about points is what's called a polar coordinate system. So again, we have uh, origin point zero and zero degrees. And for any point, we can say that there is a certain distance from the origin, which is R as a radius. And there is a certain angle, which is angle theta. Now we cannot say or tell Word to draw a point on the position R and theta. We first have to convert it from the polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates, that is into X and Y position. And we do it by saying that x equals r radius time cosine the angle theta and y equals r times sine the angle theta. If we keep the r being the same all the time and we draw it for each angle, we get a nice looking circle around the origin. Now what we will do today is we will not actually do it for each angle, but we will just set it, set it for a certain angles. So we will draw line going from minus 60 degrees to around here plus 60 degrees which will give us this arc or hopefully it will give us this arc then of course we will draw another arc in the smaller radius going from minus 120 degrees to zero degrees which will give us another arc and when we draw this as a one continuous shape we don't have to worry about connecting those parts together it will be done automatically for us so right away you can see that i'm already getting some shape similar to the google chrome logo so let's see if we can somehow adjust the code to drawing those badges and you know blobs to draw in an arc instead so let's finally take a look at the code itself so if i open the developer ribbon and our macro which is called i believe draw polygon you can see that the code is pretty simple and that, that's really all the code needed to draw those badges and it will be even easier for our arc. So we have the segments, which is number of segments, 
from which each shape is made of and this is also used as the size of the poly points array which holds all the points we have the radius and angle just have, as we have sh uh, shown previously for the polar coordinates and we have the origin just so we don't draw anything everything around the top left corner then we set the random values for the origin just so we have it somewhere somewhere on the document and for each segment we just calculate the angle as being 360 divided by the number of segments times counter so we're increasing the counter to go no, or angle to go all around the circle we have to convert this from degrees to radians just so we can feed in the sine and cosine function and then we set the radius we are setting the radius for cosine function to get this nice looking um, you know blobby edge of each shape what we can do is we can just set the radius to be a static value like 100 for now we, uh, we calculate or convert the polar coordinate using the radius and angle to the Cartesian and in the next, next step we just draw a polyline. So if I delete everything in here and I run this with the radius being 100 I should get a nice looking circle. What I will probably do is I'll probably set the line to be visible and a little bit bolder. So line weight maybe I don't know 1.5 and I will probably for now set the fill to be not visible just so because we'll draw arc which shouldn't be filled for now so again i run this again i get this nice looking circle i will start with not going from free uh, around full circle so i'll not go around 360 degrees but what i will do is i will just go around 120 degrees so if i run this again you can see that immediately i'm getting some kind of arc which goes from 0 to 120 degrees I want this to go from minus 60 to 60, so I will just subtract number 60, and you can see I'm getting first shape. Now I will want to draw this as one continuous shape, so what I will do is I will not go from counter to segments, because the segments will be used for both the bigger arc and the smaller arc, so the outer arc and the inner arc. So I will probably set the first uh, loop to go from counter to half of the segments which will be 128 and i will not divide it of course by the number of segments but only divided by 128 so this should look very same except i will only use half of the points so half of the points are used to draw this outer ray outer arc and all the other points are not being set, so they are in the position 0, 0. That's why you see this line connecting those, you know, the last last, last point of the arc to point zero zero. So I want this loop to be there one, uh, you know, for two more, uh, for one more time. So this will be outer arc. I will copy paste everything, and this will this will be inner arc. And in here I will go for the counter starting from 129 to go to all the way up to 256. So this is like the second half of the set of the points. And of course I have to set the times counter minus the minus the 129 to start from zero. I will keep the angle to be 120, but I will not actually subtract the 60. And I believe that number of points is the same. So 256 minus 129, it's, no, it's 127. So I have to divide by 127. I'm pretty sure I can make variables out of these uh, values, but you know, just for now to keep it video short, let's just hard code everything. So the other mm, one more thing which is missing is we have to set a different radius so let's say the radius to say for example 50 so it will be smaller if i run this i should get two arc two arcs which is what i'm getting i get one arc going from one minus 60 to plus 60 then it goes to the second arc because the last point of the first arc and the second uh, first point of the second arc are connected and it goes from 0 to 120. i want this second arc to go from 0 to minus 120 so what i have to do is i have to set this to be minus so instead of going from 0 to 120 it will go from 0 to minus 120 and when i run this you know immediately you will see that i have this shape which i'm looking for the thing is since i'm not setting the last point to be same as the first point it's not being connected as for the line goes but if i set the fill 
it should be perfectly fine so it's up to if you want to connect those lines it should be fairly easy maybe i can maybe i can do it in case i want to use the line in here so what i can maybe do is i can maybe add one more statement and i will increase the number of segments to 257 which is kind of a strange number and i will say that the poly points with the index of 257 for both x and y it will be same as the first point which is point number zero x and y if i run this i should have already some looking set shape except now the line is connecting the first and last shape so it's it's what we are actually looking for and that's probably it for the vba part you know that's all that's needed we have some kind of shape which we can just reuse for our logo so let's do it let's set the fill and i already have the fill colors predefined so this is the red color it has the rgb values of 221 78 for green and 65 for blue i will set the outline to be no outline then i will just copy paste this shape and rotate it by 200, 120 degrees like this move it closer to the first shape like this then i will set the fill to be the red fill which is rgb values uh, 255 206 and 67 copy paste this again rotate it by 120 degrees move it closer to the other shapes set the fill to green color which is rgb values 26 162 and 69 96 sorry and then i will draw this middle oval which should be around i believe this size maybe a little bit smaller like this i may also zoom in a little bit so i can see everything everything better and for this one i will set the fill to blue color and outline to no outline and the blue color rgb values are 75 139 and 245 okay so I will just spend a little bit of time trying to position everything perfectly around the circle like this and if i quickly jump to the previous document with like a real logo downloaded from wikipedia you can see there is a little bit of shadow going on in between the shapes so let's see if we can do this as well so if i right click and select format shape i will open the fill and change the fill from select fill to gradient fill so this is like a default gradient fill i will make sure that at least one stop is in our color which is the red color and i will probably create one more stop with the same red color but this time i will open the more colors and make sure this is a little bit darker red color and you can see immediately there is a little bit darker color in here we just want this to be around here so what we have to do is we have to somehow rotate it to some value and it's really just trial error i believe this around here should be fine but i have to move the left stop more to the right and the second stop more to the left so there is this like a strain a uh, strong transition going from the dark one to the light one so something like this maybe the second color shouldn't be that dark it should be just a little bit darker than the first one so it's very uh, soft looking shadow maybe i will make those a little bit far away like this as a last step i may add another gradient stop and make it a little bit lighter so there is a little bit lighter um, color on the right side then i will jump to second shape and just because this one is the copy of the first shape we just rotated it if i set the gradient fill immediately you will see that we are using the same gradient fill we don't have to do anything else except for changing the colors so for one of the stops i will change the color to be the yellow one this one should be the yellow as well but i will make it just a little bit darker this is the, this one and the last one should be yellow as well but this time i will make this yellow just a little bit lighter on the bottom so the only missing piece is this green shape again i will set the fill to gradient fill it defaults to the previous one so i have to set the first or second gradient stop to be green the last one will be green as well and the first one will be green as well but the first one will be just a little bit darker like this so you can see this shadow it may be probably not that dark and the last one will be just a little bit lighter so i'll move this slider a little bit up like this so there is a lighter color on here looking at this i may change this 
yellow shadow to be a little bit darker color, but it's really just a small tweak like this, so it's more visible. And that's basically it. We've created a nice looking Google Chrome logo inside Microsoft Word with almost no effort. I will post the VBA code in the description and that's it for today. Thanks for watching.